Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it is an honor to address you at this international conference on agriculture and food in an urbanized society. Let me start by highlighting that we implemented the 23rd Agenda for Sustainable Development. We need to promote a transformative change in the way we produce and consume food. We need to put forward sustainable food systems that offer healthy and nutritious food for everyone and also preserve the environment and biodiversity. And this has to be done amid the rapid urbanization and the growing food demand coming from urban food markets. Urbanization presents opportunities and challenges. The main opportunity is to promote a new kind of rural transformation, which we can call rural urbanization. This means provide rural areas with better service, such as education, health, electricity, internet access, and communication technologies. This also means the adoption of a territorial approach to strengthen the links between urban centers and their surrounding rural areas. This would be important to create jobs in non-farm activities in rural areas, especially for youth people and women. Let me now refer to the challenge posed by urbanization. And I would like to highlight two of them. The first one is how to promote healthy diets when urbanization is stimulating a dietary transitions towards the consumption of more and more processed food, what we usually call fast food. The world today is facing a global epidemic of overweight and obesity due to the consumption of fast food that is high in saturated fats, salt, and sugar. To face the challenge of growing obesity, we have to take action in each step of the food system. This means promoting healthy soils, healthy seeds, healthy crops, using less fertilizer and chemicals, and also ensuring safe methods of packaging, distribution, and transportation. This also includes regulation on advertisement and information of food products. People must be empowered to have a healthy diet. So promoting healthy diet is also about immaterial aspect of a food system, such as consumer behavior. Governments, and especially the private sector, have crucial roles in this regard. The second challenge that I wish to mention is that the increasing demand for food is happening when agriculture is facing natural resource constraints and also the impacts of climate change. So all agriculture sectors have to adopt climate smart practices. This is fundamental to adapt to climate change, preserve natural resources and biodiversity, and also mitigate greenhouse gas emission. And this must be done while building the resilience of farmers, especially family farmers in developing countries where extreme poverty and hunger are concentrated. I hope this conference will help to find ways of addressing the challenges and opportunities posed by urbanization. Before I conclude, let me address my friends in Brazil in Portuguese. Quero cumprimentar Schneider, você e o seu time por manter viva 
e é acesa essa luta pela segurança alimentar. O Brasil enfrenta hoje em dia um retrocesso em muitos dos programas que asseguraram a saída do mapa da fome. Confio muito que vocês possam tomar decisões que ajudem a reverter esse processo. I wish you all fruitful discussion and thank you for your attention.